Are you curious about what evaluation is? Well, today I'm not only going to be sharing a very brief definition, but also a five-step process you can use to make sure that you're using your data to learn. And don't worry about taking any notes during this video. I'm going to be sharing a summary, so you are all set. My name is Michelle Molina at Connecting Evidence, and I'm an evaluator. And evaluation is the systematic process for determining the worth of an activity, a program, an initiative. You can use it for pretty much anything. So that's the definition. <laughs> you might be thinking, that's great, but I'm not quite sure what to do with that information, nor what that really means. So what evaluators really do is we help groups and organizations or initiatives think about what success looks like and then we help them collect data to explore the extent to which they are achieving that success. And the purpose for doing that work is so that people are better able to make improvements to their work, um, make better decisions, and hopefully even share their successes with others. So I promised you a five-step process. Here it is. Step one, consider your context. I mean two things by this. You want to describe the work you do and the setting it lives in, and you also want to clarify how the things you do lead to the changes you want to see. This is often what's referred to as a theory of change. And I have written about both of these things before, both how to describe your work and how to develop a theory of change. So I will leave resources in the description below for you to check out. Step two, develop an evaluation plan. Your plan should outline what data you will be collecting, why you want to collect that data, and how you will go about collecting the information you need. It should clarify what tools you're going to use and who will be doing the work, what deadlines you all are planning to meet, and how the information you collect will be used. Step three, data collection and analysis. Here you basically implement your plan, and there can be a lot of technical things involved here, but generally you wanna follow through with your plan and make sure you're collecting data in an ethical way. And then once you have all the information, you wanna make sure that you're synthesizing it in a way that's easy to review. And generally what this means is pulling out major themes or making charts. Step four, sense making. Sense making is when you take all the data you have collected, bring it together and make sense of it. It's when you think about um, what implications this data has for your work. You consider based on this data, what improvements can we make? What decisions can we make? What are our next steps? It's a chance for you to have a data party. And a data party is basically when you bring stakeholders together and you have them help you make sense of all the information. And I'm going to leave a few resources down below for you to check out and learn more about data parties. Step five, take action. You want to follow through on the decisions, the improvements, and the next steps you have identified. You spent a lot of time and resources getting to those decisions, improvements, and next steps, and you want to make sure that that time was wisely spent. You also want to take action on sharing your lessons learned with others. This means sharing your successes as well as your stumbles because others are working on similar things as you are and you want to achieve your mission faster. And finally, consider what else you can evaluate. Um, consider what else you might use data for, how you can use data for improvements or other decisions and make sure that you're always growing and building your evaluation muscles. So there you have it, five steps for doing an evaluation. Don't forget to download a summary of this video so you can quickly and easily reference it. And if you feel like you need help with any of these steps, feel free to reach out. Um, I love helping organizations use data to learn and I would love to work with you. So I am just an email away. If you have any questions about evaluation or how to use data, 
make sure to let me know. I want to work on a series of videos where I answer your questions. You could simply fill out a form or just put your questions in the comments below and I will make sure to make a video about it. Did you like this video? Let me know by liking it, subscribing, and sharing it with others you think might find it useful. And if you want regular resources from me, join my mailing list.